Okay, wrestling fans, WWE fans, what stands behind me is a Walmart. And WWE is the Walmart of professional wrestling. And over the weekend, uh, this AEW show, if you watched it or if you didn't watch it, but most likely if you watched it somehow or saw clips or heard about it, a new little mom and pop shop has gone into town. Now this mom and pop shop happens to be funded by uh, billionaires, so it's not exactly a perfect metaphor, but the point is, now you have an option. And especially for those that watched AEW and were all excited about it, and blood and so forth, and legless wrestlers and battle royals and so forth, why would you go back to watching Monday Night Raw tonight? I saw some people on YouTube saying, well, what's Raw going to do? What's the counter-strike? Nothing. They could still have a 30-minute promo at the beginning of the show or a 10-minute promo. They're still going to have a women's uh, tag team match or a women's six-woman tag team match. They're still going to have, uh, what's that guy, the bald guy in the vest? Uh, they're still going to have, you know, the wild car rule and 24-7 and all the crap that you don't like last week because a different promotion did something good. WWE is not going to counter-strike, or they're not going to do anything good. So don't fool yourself, don't kid yourself. Walmart's still going to sell their plungers and their home goods, and the WWE is still going to give you a shitty goddamn show. So as I've been telling you since September 30th, 2018, October 1st, 2018, Raw protests began. If ever some of you could grow a penis in your pants and not watch Raw, tonight would be the night. Now you have an alternative. Now you have something else to watch. So you have no excuses. Hashtag raw protest, don't watch raw.